National Day of Mourning, Wikipedia article audio The National Day of Mourning, or Workers' Mourning Day is observed in Canada on April 28. It commemorates workers who have been killed, injured, or suffered illness due to workplace-related hazards and incidents. Young Workers Canadian Monuments International Monuments Workers' Memorial Day was started in Sudbury, Ontario in 1984, and the Canadian Labour Congress officially declared it an annual day of remembrance in 1985 on April 28. It has since grown to be observed in over 80 countries. In December 1990, this day became a national observance with the passing of the Workers' Morning Day Act, so that on April 28, 1991, it was officially the National Day of Mourning for persons killed or injured in the workplace, making April 28 an official Workers' Morning Day. Injuries and deaths in the workplace continue to be a matter of important concern across Canada. Many Canadians members work hard each day in an effort to minimize accidents and incidents. Risk is an inherent element of many jobs, and this is why safety should be one of the core values in any workplace. Since its inception, the observance has spread to over 80 countries around the world, but is known as most other countries as the Workers' Memorial Day. The date April 28 was picked because on that day in 1914, the Workers' Compensation Act received its third reading. In 2001 the International Labour Organization first observed World Day for Safety and Health at Work on this day. Commemorating those who have been hurt or killed in the workplace shows respect for the fallen, while serving as a reminder of the importance of occupational health and safety. The Canadian flag is flown at half-mast from sunrise to sunset on all federal government buildings, including on Parliament Hill. Workers and employees observe this day in various ways including lighting candles, donning ribbons and black armbands, and observing a moment of silence at 1100 HRS. The purpose of Day of Mourning is twofold to remember and honor those lives lost or injured and to renew the commitment to improving health and safety in the workplace, to prevent further deaths, injuries, and diseases from work. Young workers aged from 15 to 24 are more likely than any other group to be injured on the job, in fact one-third of all injuries occur in this age group and males are twice as likely to be injured as female workers. The highest rate of injury happens in construction and hospitality industries. These rates have led to specific laws in many provinces that provide for additional and special training for young and new workers. Due to these statistics, there has been renewed push to use this holiday to educate young workers of their rights in schools. Major monuments in Canada have been erected and dedicated to workers whose lives have been who have been killed and injured on the job. The BC Labour Heritage Centre maintains an interactive map recording all monuments and plagues dedicated to working class people in British Columbia, over 50 sites of which are day of mourning specific. Monuments around the world have been erected and dedicated to workers whose lives have been who have been killed and injured on the job. The Canadian Young Workers Memorial Quilt The Life Quilt with individual, personalized quilted blocks commemorated 100 young workers is a memorial dedicated to the thousands of young women and men between the ages of 14 and 24 killed on the job, Canadian Labour Congress Monument. Vincent Massey Park, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. This monument was dedicated on April 28, 1987, one year after the Canadian Labour Congress had officially established April 28 as the day of mourning to workers killed and injured on the job. Falcon Bridge Mural, Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. 
Miners Memorial Kirkland Lake, Ontario, Canada, Rideau Canal Fabric Mural Memorial, Kingston, Ontario, Canada, Firefighters Monument, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada, Breaking Ground Hogs Hollow Memorial, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Their Light Shall Always Shine Memorial Park, New Glasgow, Nova Scotia is a park and memorial dedicated to the 26 miners who lost their lives in a horrific mining explosion on May 9, 1992. HTTP colon slash slash NS one seven six three dot CA slash pick two CO slash Westray MEM dot HTML semicolon broken families obelisk Grant Notley Park, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Hoover Dam Monument, Boulder City, Nevada, USA, Airplane and Fisherman Monument, Hedens Fjorder, Iceland. Workers' Memorial Day Stained Glass Window, Birmingham, England.